It is a beautiful sunny day today here in Praia do Rei, Portugal. So we thought we'd take a wander around and show you what summer is like in this beautiful place. As house sitters, it's really important to look after the animals. So Zeus and Mishka, before we leave, they're going to want a treat. And they so know what lives in that cupboard. <laughs> okay guys, ready? Lovely. Four. Good girl, Mishka. Zeus. Four. Good boy, Zeus. Happy dogs. Happy house sitters. We have absolutely no idea what that spraying thing is. It's disinfectant or something like that. And they're going along and doing the hedges and the walls. Yeah, it's been going for a couple of hours now. We made a video on Praia del Rey last October when we were here before. It was quite extensive, so if you want to see that, check out the link above. But it was winter time and everything was quiet and really closed down, so we thought we'd show you the activity that's going on in the summertime. The Marriott Gardens are looking a lot nicer now for summer. In case you're wondering, this house is still for sale. There's a lot of cars packed down here now, so everyone must come down here and park up to go down to this local beach. A lovely calm day today here down at the beach in winter it's a lot more rougher and wild there's quite a few surfers out there looking for a wave oh you can't quite see the Belingus islands today it's a bit misty over there you can see Balial but look it's always so spectacular and then you head up this way and we've got the Marriott Hotel beachfront side very nice oh so many surfers there comparison with normal it is a Saturday so that could be why but remember of course unstable cliffs do not get too close don't go underneath them for shelter and this is as close as we managed to get to the Marriott Hotel gazing up at it oh my word it's wonderful one day one day because the setting is just glorious in the winter there's no lifeguards here and I wouldn't advise swimming but here in the summer they're here from the 30th of June till the 15th of September, 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. So that's good to know. Wow, it's looking beautiful today. I'm so pleased they fixed the stairs. There's a lot of erosion on these cliffs and in November, all of this one washed away and the bottom half of the steps disappeared so they just let it go for the winter they've got them all set up for summer again now which is great oh my word looking more and more like the Elgar We've got some Marriott, some umbrellas down there. People are using those, quite a few people around. And the water looks that inviting. I've got to go in. Let's see what the water temperature's like. Oh, wow. Okay, we're in the Atlantic, which is always a bit colder than the Mediterranean, obviously. But compared to summertime, this is really quite pleasant. I'm gonna enjoy a swim. Oh wow, the seabed is really like undulating. So one minute it's, you're high up and then you drop down a little bit. So watch yourself in the foot here. Some of these waves look quite strong, so I'm not gonna go too far in. Just gonna get myself wet. Oh, nice. Gotta get past the breakers. Oh, that feels really good. Summer in Praia del Rey, I like. And the current really is quite strong. And I've noticed that it's pulled me right down the beach quite a long way from one side of where you're supposed to swim to the other. So keep your eye out for that. 
lovely and refreshing though. The flags have just been moved closer together. So the swimming distance is over to here and there's one lifeguard on at the moment and she's walking back up to the little lifeguard station just going to take a little stroll up the beach now towards where the beachfront apartments are looks really nice there's a few people around i've noticed how the cliffs have sort of um crumbled a little bit in places so that happens a lot here and the golf course is just above there so watch out for flying golf balls oh yeah see so these lovely cliffs but just remember that sign, unstable, don't get too close. Because look at this, I can't believe how much that's eroded since we were here house sitting in February and March. The beach is a lot busier now than it was back in October. It was desolate then. There's a lot of people around, but still plenty of space. It's not like it's a creme d'Algarve beach. There's a lifeguard down here as well. Just keep an eye out for the flags. Because this beach here, it's a little bit more gentle, but those waves can still dump you. Looking at the water at this beach, it's far calmer. There's no surfers here. There were a lot up there and here. It's just nice and gentle. If I had any kids, I'd be bringing them here. I'm not too sure what the sign is supposed to signify because it's saying like the Sunshade Umbrella Zone. I'm sure they have them around there, but they're all down this side as well, all along the beach. Looks like they've got some set up there from a hotel or a cafe or something, some official ones, but put yours where you want by the look of it. So they do have the sun beds and umbrellas for rent. I'm not too sure how much though, and I'm not too sure who's actually managing them. But if you just want a nice break from the sun, it's good to know that they're here. So heading up now towards the beachfront apartments and the supermarket, and there's a restaurant there as well apparently. And Lee's just pointed something out, something I'd completely forgotten about this nice gentle ramp. Oh, it was completely different before. It was heading down that way, but it's broken down in the winter and they've, they've fixed it up. So it makes access to the beach very good. Brilliant. Wow. This would be a great place to stay. Look at those ocean views. To me, this part of the beach seems a lot more sort of short-term rental I think this is more like hotel type apartments you know compared to down the other way other end where it seemed quite residential the wood's getting a little bit warm underfoot so I have to race and put our shoes on just up above the beachfront you've got the facilities up there it's the only shop in Praia del Rey and they've got the restaurant and the adventure club this was all closed in our last video in winter so let's see what's going on up there right now something I've noticed is that five star doesn't necessarily mean perfect boardwalks etc the sun and the winter and the rain and everything here does tend to rot things through quite fast. One thing that hasn't changed is the lift is still under maintenance. There's quite some steep stairs to get up to the restaurant and that. And there's a lift option which is still needs a bit of work. So it's up the stairs we go. <laughs> Really nice view of the golf course from up here. Uh, and we've got the nice fancy restaurant above us, Marie. That's all open for business, but it looks like the shop's closed because I can see a sign on the door. Maybe we got here at lunchtime. Oh yeah, close on Saturday, one till two for lunch. Sunday closed, Monday closed. <laughs> one day, we'll get to see inside. <laughs> 
and here we have fun police all ages activities it says it's open nine till six body board surf stand up paddleboard canoeing could be quite cool to take the kids to the adventure club anything here that you'd like to do lee oh all sorts of things everything <laughs> <laughs> but it looks closed again so i'm not sure It's a glorious 32 degrees here today. It's early July and oh my word, I think it's just gonna get even hotter and hotter. But yeah, what a wonderful place to come like to the beach and relax and enjoy the sunshine. So it's actually too hot for me now. I can't do one well of these temperatures. So I'm gonna go home. And I'm gonna hit the beach. Sounds like a plan. It's really nice to see so many more cars here. Washing, hanging up. It's up that way to Westcliffs and Royal Obidosh. So this land over here still belongs to a local farmer. There's crops out, tomatoes and beans in the distance. One of the things about Praia del Rey, it's like an island. It's like three and a half K to the nearest village, which is Farrell, which does have supermarkets. But apart from that here, as we've said before, there's just a tiny little mini market, which we still haven't actually managed to go into because it's been closed for lunch. And that's actually only open in summer. I think it's July to September. But so imagine how happy we were to discover there's a lifesaver here by the entrance. Up from the roundabout up in this house ahead. Now sometimes apparently there's a sack of potatoes out the front to indicate that the store is open. Ah, there it is. And this is where we come to get all of our fresh fruit and vegetables for the week. Looks like they're excellent potatoes. Come down. Such a great array of produce. We've also got things like honey and there's olives sometimes and basil. And here's the price list. It's absolutely beautiful. Not a lot of English spoken, but very good practice for your Portuguese. And we're regulars now, aren't we? Yeah, we love it here. Excellent fruit and vegetables available at really good prices, locally grown, can't beat it. Yes, things like the lettuce, for example. Mm, I mean, they're between good. 50 cents and 70 yeah. cents. At the Blumen supermarket, they're one euro 29. Now in summer, the tomatoes are home growing. Isn't that so wonderful? Gorgeous ones here as well. So this is what we bought today. We bought tomatoes, they were one euro 80 a kilo. The two avocados, they were 350 a kilo. Carrots were, I think they were 80 cents, I'm not too sure. And I didn't check the price of the lettuce, the cucumber or the red pepper, but the total cost was eight euros and 11 cents. I'm so pleased that we finally mastered the way to use the fancy bottle opener. Do you remember? Wow, fantastic. And today's wine tasting is a lovely little Contemporal. We think it's their own brand from Continent, which is pretty cool. It's a 2021 from Stubal, 12.5%, and most importantly, one euro 99. Oh my word. So, just to see what it's like. 
very clean, <laughs> clean smell, clean aroma. Mm. Michigan's trying to get lizards from underneath here, yeah, so. Oh my word, it's delicious, it's, it's kind of fruity. Oh, it's lovely. Oh my word, seriously, mark this one up. I'm going back for Morley. Nice morning for a walk with Mishka and Zeus. <laughs> a sniff, anyway. Yeah, lots of sniffs. I really wanted to show you that this is a summer's day. Doesn't mean the weather's gonna be great. It's the Silver Coast, it's gray and it's windy today. Oof.